welcome Matt this is Fernando with Outdoor Lighting Perspectives and this is the video for your design on your landscape outdoor lighting for the back of your home as we come in on the left uh, we have four path lights in this walkway uh, remember each of these lights gives you a six feet in diameter in lighting on the second lower level uh, we just do three path lights just to cast a little bit of light down here but also for security as grandkids kids yourself your spouse you want to walk down one day and then you can still see with these three lights down here what's happening without intruding much into whoever's going to be on the other side of these windows the other side of your house we have only three path lights that would um, be more than enough to light up this walkway and on your fireplace we just want to put a, a center path light right here and in this area so that it could cast enough light for whoever will be hanging out around the fireplace some lights to illuminate the walkway primarily this one this one would be towards the middle because it's a pretty big spacious um, area that uh, would look pretty with lights with a path light on these two trees we would um, do two complementary up lights that would light up the the trees at night and uh, those would be complementary with the acceptance of the proposal uh, uh, by your scoreboard we would do five path lights along this garden bed uh, in your putting area in this a section right here we have four we have one more right here which would be placed by this rock right here uh, we have one by the entrance and another one by the entrance so that it could be symmetrical as you're welcoming your family yourself or your guest up or down on the lower left area we have a very long a garden bed that extends from right here to four more path lights and then over here in the fireplace we would do about four more path lights we wanted to keep it conservative um, uh, so we didn't do any path lighting right here in these garden beds typically we would do prob possibly one or two more but we just wanted to keep it as low as we can as um, you come upstairs on the above this fireplace you have four more path lights then on this lower level you have two you have one more right here by the entrance on on this side right here one right here in the middle and one right here in this entrance two on this level and we didn't put anything in your pickable area because uh, you said that you already have pretty good lighting in there so we left that as it is these are what the these are the path lights and what they do at night uh, you can see one path light provides enough lighting just uh, on a staircase um, that you have about one two three four five path lights right here and that's the effect that it would do to your house in areas like this or in areas like right here it would look really pretty at night um, this is what it looks like against bushes right so some of your path lights will be right next to bushes and the bushes will grow but your landscaping person they will just trim the bush around the light and it just creates a pretty effect this guy in uh, this is a home in Highland he has about 70 plus lights and he wants a few more lights in his gazebo and above his gazebo um, but you can see how much lighting you get per light into the garden bed and also into the grass this is a home that we have in Alpine uh, this is a solution that um, we wanted to show you for your home for the front of your house um, right here we only have one up light one up light and one up light pretty much where you, where you see a big trout of light that uh, indicates that there is a light so you have a light here light 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 and then one per tree this customer only has three path lights because the wife didn't really like the path lights as much as the lighting in the home and of course they have a light in the chimney as well this is a home in Highland um, this customer has 13 up lights just in the house in the front trees you can see his garage how dark it is with no light but with the up lights that we would provide for these trees um, right here these are the lights that we would provide for these trees 
um, would be the same ones that we install in this home. And the beauty of, the, of these lights is that we can adjust the direction of the light, the temperature of how white it is, if it is a bright white or a warm white. We could also adjust the brightness or the dimness of these lights so that we can make them um, very customizable. Uh, so as it stands right now, you have about 48, you have a total of 48 path lights in the in the backyard with two complementary aspens if the proposal is accepted uh, the transformer um, would be mounted in either here in your putting area or I believe you have an outlet um, behind your your pickable cord uh, your basketball court uh, it comes with um, an astronomical timer that it adjusts as the time changes in the year is set to our time zone and our state and our location so that when winter the dusk is earlier than in summer the lights change automatically and you don't have to worry about turning on your lights man lights manually the astronomical timer will do that for you uh, i'm gonna put this in youtube uh, please go ahead and feel free to review it with rochelle or and i will go ahead and give you a call tomorrow around two o'clock Thank you. Have a good day.